Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support uh, Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos uh, dealing with the OR statistical programming language uh, and using the OR statistical program la programming language to OR Studio, uh, is just going to concentrate on data frames uh, and actually how do we construct data frames. Okay, uh, So basically a data frame is just a structure, yeah, that basically uh, is a representation of vectors Vectors, and let's consider them vectors to be column vectors. So it's a data frame is just like a table, okay? Uh, it's a table of columns, okay? Uh, where each column in the table stores particular data. Data, let's assume, associated with some particular variable, okay? But more importantly, each column has a particular a particular class that it's associated with. So, like for example, the data could be numeric, uh, the data could be non-numeric. Maybe it's a factor or something like that. But I mean, this particular video what I'd like to do is I'd like to just create create a data frame and show you how to create a data frame okay uh, so what I'm what I want to create first of all is uh, I want to create some some vectors okay and uh, there's many ways that we can create vectors let's just have a look at I suppose let's just have a look at the combined function yeah the function C and let's just see what we get when we actually just use the combined function so what I'm going to just do here really quickly is I'm just going to say data Okay, let me just actually click on this here. Data, this is a variable, okay? And what it's going to store is it's going to store a reference, okay? Uh, to this particular, let's say, list of values. Well, it's not list, let's say, to this particular vector of values, okay? It looks something like this, okay? Uh, so it should store the values 1, 2, 3, 6, and 8, okay? So we're just going to do that, that call. Don't forget the C uh, function call is a call that allows us to combine together, okay? To combine together particular values or observations yeah into a structure and we're calling that structure a vector okay so I'm just going to hit return here and what we've just done is we've created the variable data and I'm going to execute the variable data now by just just calling data and hitting return okay so I'm going to hit return on data and actually see what I get is uh, I get a sequence of values one two three six and eight okay uh, I wonder what class does do, do these values uh, belong to? So I'm just going to call the function class. Okay, so I have class. And what I'm going to pass into class is I'm going to pass in that variable data that's storing these particular values. So when I actually call this here and hit return, you can see, oh, it's numeric. So the data being stored, the, the type of data being stored within the variable data is numeric data. Okay. I'm wondering, is it a vector? So there is a call that we can, that we can use. It's called is dot vector. Okay, it takes a particular argument, so it takes an object in as an argument. Okay, and what I'm going to pass in is I'm going to pass in the variable data into that particular into that particular function. So the question that's being asked here is, okay, when we combine these values together. Okay, up here to the call C, 1, 2, 3, 6, and 8. When we combine them values together, and when we when we store them in the variable called data, the question is, uh, is what we got back from that, albeit we know the type of the values, they're numeric, but is the structure, is the object that was returned up here, is it a vector? Okay, So I'm going to hit return on that, and you can actually see that we get true. So what we know now actually at this stage is that this particular type of call here creates, uh, creates a vector. Okay? And what I'm saying is this, is that a data frame yeah, is simply a collection of vectors, okay? It's a table where, let's assume that each vector within the data frame is a column within the table, okay? So let me create, let me create another couple of columns, okay? Let's say I say data, data set, let's say data set one, okay? Data set one is going to be the values, let's say it's going to be the values, I'm going to combine together the values seven, three, 9, 10, and 11. So there's the length of it is there's going to be five values in this particular structure. We know it's a vector because we've just tested that the C function call actually returns a vector for us. So we know that's a vector. Let me create another data set. Let's say data, data set 2. Okay? Let's say data set 2. And let's see, let's say data set 2 contains, let's say, the values uh, 3, 5, let's say 1, 1, and let's say two. So once again, there's five values in that particular, in this particular vector that we're creating. So once again, we have a vector. Let's just check to see are the vectors. Is dot vector, is dot vector data set one? Okay, let's try that. Uh, so data set, data set one goes in here. It is a vector. What about data set two? Uh, is data set two a vector? It is a vector. Okay. So what we know now at this stage is that we've created two vectors. Okay. 
Uh, now when we actually print, let's say when we actually print the output of the contents of those vectors to the screen by just calling the name of the, let's just by calling the name of the variable, okay, you can see that I get something that is in is in row format here, okay. Let's call data set, data set 2, okay, and you can see I'm getting something that's in row format here, okay. But what I want to do is this, is I want to create a frame, a data frame uh, that combines these two vectors together. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, I'm going to call this this new structure, this object I'm going to create. I'm going to call it uh, my data frame. Okay, let's say my data frame. Okay, my data frame. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a data frame by coercing data set one and data set two into a data frame. And there's a function that we have. It's called data dot frame. Okay. It's a function call. It takes a number of parameters between the open and close round brace. And actually the parameters that it takes are the vectors that we want to we want to combine together to create this particular data set or this particular data frame. So actually what I'm going to pass in is I'm going to pass in data set one okay, as the first column and I'm going to pass in data set 